now first of all what is the pathology here what is the pathology what is the patient what is the patient suffering from what are what are we talking about here why would you get like see it can be a thyroid disorder or disorder like cold intolerance right so in thyroid disorder usually we get heat intolerance and in hypothyroidism we get maybe we can get cold intolerance but in hypothyroidism we don't get weight loss so this scar just doesn't match our thyroid profile this is very close to thyroid disorder but it's not it's not adrenal insufficiency adrenal insufficiency yeah you can surely say from darkening of the skin but how would you explain weight loss how would you explain excessive urination how would you explain cold intolerance just purely on the basis of darkening of the skin we can't say gushing disease no additions no like it doesn't fit the profile something you know this four are the major symptoms darkening of skin cold intolerance and excess and moreover the even if it matches your profile the uh, hormones which cause in the cushing the cortisol does cortisol has anything to do with any divalent cation transfer transport are located in basolateral membrane of enterocytes this is a big thing sidh we adh has nothing to do with this divalent cation transporter and also sidh means yeah there can be you know syndrome inappropriate adh so there is more adh secreted so there will be less urination in sidh there will be less urination if you are giving more anti diuretic or more anti diuretic so there is less is it diabetes yeah see there can be darkening of the skin there can be excessive urination there might be at some point weight loss but usually weight gain is seen but cold intolerance is not fitting here and also diabetes and this diabetes gene product we like insulin insulin has nothing to do with the diabetes right? basically nothing you have answered everything but nothing profile, nothing matches the profile only one person from you answered the right thing and this is hemochromatosis this is hemochromatosis the divalent cation is the fe2 plus ion transporter located in the basolateral membrane so what is the gene product we are talking about now now can you answer yes it's an ion transporter correct what is the gene product we are talking about certain gene product it stimulate let's maybe we don't know gene product what is the particular hormone synthesized in the liver i meant hepcidin right so whenever hepcidin is secreted Hepcidin, so it does it does the work of iron sequestration. It doesn't let iron spill into the blood. It sequesters the iron wherever possible because when is this secreted? Whenever there is some sort of infection or inflammation in the body, so body always thinks that yeah there is some infection and there is bacterial invasion. Body is stupid, but it does the right thing even though it's stupid. So bacteria needs iron for its reproduction and all the stuff. So it will sequester the iron, and by this doing this, it will make you know less availability of iron in the body, so the bacteria can't reproduce. So that's what happening. When increase amount, it down regulates the divalent cation ion transporter located in basolateral membrane. So it doesn't allow the iron absorption from the cells from enterocytes. The iron doesn't move to blood. So that's what hepcidin does. This is very important to learn. Do you know what is this? Uh, you know this. There will be less iron, right? So this will definitely cause anemia if chronic. So what is this anemia called? Is it iron deficiency anemia? Can we call it an iron deficiency anemia? Chronic iron deficiency anemia. Okay. Can I call it chronic iron deficiency anemia? Normocytic, normochromic anemia. No, there will be less iron. There will be microcytic, micro, I mean, hypochromic anemia. It is called anemia of chronic disease, not chronic anemia. That is technically true, but also not true. It, you have to speak it as anemia of chronic disease. We are not laymen. We are doctors, right? Okay. So this is the anemia of chronic disease. So we have learned so much about you know this thing. Uh, hemochromatosis so now what does hemochromatosis does to heart what does hemochromatosis does to the heart restrictive cardiomyopathy extremely true right but basically it does restrictive cardiomyopathy that means the space to fill the blood decreases right it's basically very similar to concentric hypertrophy but also not similar to concentric hypertrophy because that's called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy right not concerning there is a hazard but restrictive means something is filling the heart muscle that reduces the space you know so first of all in your restricted cardiomyopathy your amount of blood that can be filled inside the ventricle decreases that simply literally means preload decreases in literal words it means preload decreases so rule out, rule in the options which has decreased preload a can be the answer c can be the answer d can e can be the answer so only the options we have is b and d now the question comes 
कार्य कॉन्ट्रेक्टिविटी एंड आफ्टर नोट ओके सो कार्य कॉन्ट्रेक्टिविटी डज इट डज इट एनीथिंग टू डू विद कार्डियक मसल वाज इट द कार्डियक मसल व्हिच वाज कॉजिंग दिस डिक्रीज इन स्पेस नो दैट्स हाइपरट्रोफी we are talking about restriction we talk about restrictive cardiomyopathy where some something else in hemochromatosis the ferrite in the hemochromat uh, this hemosiderin and everything that fills up the you know this space so that is causing the restrictive cardiomyopathy not the muscle so cardiac contractility remains the same it doesn't decrease right okay so option of course of course the answer is d but many of you people might be thinking why does afterload increase does uh, hemosiderin fill the you know fill up the vessels but no that is that is not the reason why after load is increasing after load increases because see preload has decreased right so cardiac output has to decrease of course preload decreases so cardiac output will decrease this will cause a uh, reflex r a a s ras stimulation right so that will cause vasoconstriction and that will lead to this increase in after load thanks for watching please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more